Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now, personally, I think one of the biggest problems in life that causes you to not be happy or achieve your goals is lack of energy and basically just being tired all the time. You see, if you had more energy, you'd get more work done, right? You'd exercise more. You'd get more out of your relationships, right? You'd socialize more. You'd play with your kids. You'd have more fun on the weekends and so forth. You'd be more productive in life and thus You'd be happier at the end of each day because you had a full day. In fact, one of the biggest complaints people have when it comes to their health is lack of energy. Now, however, before I continue on and reveal the worst energy supplement for your health, please make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel right now while it's fresh on your mind because I've got some very important videos coming out soon about this topic and similar topics that I don't want you to miss out. All right, so continuing on, the biggest complaint and the lack of energy is why the most used and abused drug on the planet is caffeine. This is why beverages such as coffee or just soda, tea, and energy drinks are the biggest money makers. Everyone is drinking them to start and get through their days. In fact, people don't even see caffeine as a drug. They think of it as, you know, a supplement. They don't even see it in the product. So energy drinks or energy supplements are just another delivery mechanism for caffeine. You know, in the old days, people would just take straight caffeine pills such as no dose or Vibrant. It's cheap and effective. And yes, this is what I used to do when I was younger to get through my long days at work and medical school. I mean, it was like six to seven days a week, right? Of 12 to 14 hours days for me. It was just horrible, but I didn't know how else to get through the day. And you know, when you're young, your body can take the abuse. Unfortunately, over time, I noticed I just got fatter. My sleep was horrible. I was irritable all the time. My sex drive was lower and I was actually losing muscle. And worst of all, I was still tired all the time after that, you know, initial energy high from the caffeine. In fact, after a while, I needed the caffeine just to stay normal. I wasn't getting energized anymore. And this is the problem with caffeine. You see, your body quickly adapts after a few days or weeks. Your adrenal glands get burnt out and you have adrenal fatigue. Your stress hormones such as cortisol go sky high which causes negative imbalances with all your other youthful hormones. And this is very important. Thus, your testosterone drops. Your thyroid and metabolism slows down. Your insulin levels go up. You start having high blood pressure. And your dopamine levels, which is your happy neurotransmitter, and the receptors, they stop working very well. And the end result is accelerated aging, both physically and mentally. And this is what happened to me, you know, so I had to figure out a safe and long-term solution. So the first thing I did was I slowly started getting off anything with caffeine and I did not do this cold turkey or end it abruptly because caffeine is a drug. Your body is addicted to it no differently than cocaine. In fact, cocaine was the original ingredient in Coca-Cola. But when cocaine became illegal, they needed to find a legal alternative. And that's when Coca-Cola switched to caffeine. Anyway, I was getting off, as I was getting off the ca caffeine products, I started using natural herbs to help fix my body's caffeine-induced problems. And I did this by fixing the seven energy pathways, which is what I want you to do. And I discuss in a link below in the description area in more, de in more detail. However, what I did was I wanted to improve my dopamine levels, which helps improve your mood and cognition. I wanted to reduce stress hormones such as cortisol, which reduces aging. And again, a good thing. I wanted to improve and increase my mitochondria, which increases energy to every cell in your body. I wanted to boost acetylcholine levels, which improves muscle control, sleep, and brain functions. I needed to increase ATP production, which improves cellular and whole body energy levels. I wanted to improve and increase oxygen uptake to all my cells. And I also started utilizing nootropics, which helps optimize brain functions and physical performance. Now, I made these improvements. Not only did my energy levels go up and stay up, but my mood dramatically improved, which is great. My memory and cognition was so much better. And basically I looked and felt so much younger. 
Of course, this took a little bit of time, right? It didn't happen overnight. It took about maybe two or three months since my body was also kind of detoxing from the caffeine abuse. Now, my only regret is I didn't start utilizing this proven formula earlier. You know, I wish I didn't abuse my body for all those years. But as the saying goes, better late than never. Anyways, if you want to increase your energy levels and want a much better and safer natural alternatives to caffeine or other fake energy products, click the link below in the description area, utilize the information, the proven formula for yourself, and then let me know how much your energy levels have improved. Well, that's it for today. I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you liked it, please subscribe to this channel. If you found it helpful, please share the help with others so they can benefit as well. Also, do me a big favor and leave your questions and comments below. I do read them all. And make sure you click the link below for natural and proven solutions for improving your energy levels, both physically and mentally. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.